Okay, folks, so what I did, uh, these are the bases for the hood pins that really goes down, bolts down, or screws down to the hood. So I scuffed this one up, and I'm going to scuff that one up. One of you see the difference in this is a shiny chrome, and I scuffed it up. The reason I scuffed it up is I plan to paint them black like this one, or like I should say about the two that are already on it. And they'll be mounted right in here, pretty much a straight line. Uh, the one thing I did notice is these are a little bigger than those. Nothing I can do about that. So, uh, but I'll uh, I'll get these this one scuffed up and hit it with a coat of primer. And I noticed there was no screws in the bag. Yeah, there they are. There are some screws. Okay, good. I was worried about that. All right, let me get these uh, scuffed up, and then I'll go to drilling the holes in the hood for the mount of things. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Uh, I put uh, my center punch and did a couple of drift holes right here and one here, and I'm going to try to uh, drill this out and move this uh, chair back a little bit. I'm going to try to drill us a couple of holes here. I believe you guys can see that. This is going to be where my hood pins go. I, I marked it off as best I could. Let's see what happens. idea there so I'm gonna put you on time lapse here okay well this piece here was considerably lower this piece down here and uh what i had to do on this one i had to put these uh and i didn't why i didn't think about that i had to put these little blocks to raise these these hood pins up you see right there i bolted those blocks down so i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna cut some more steel and uh raise these hood pins up but they're too low they won't they won't even touch the bottom of the hood they don't stick through so let me go find some steel i got some in here somewhere we got what's left of these pieces a little more delay hey folks bob here it is day two of the furious hood pin installation uh was out here yesterday and uh you know i was battling uh the heat out here and uh ran into a little snag i put the pins in and they didn't they didn't go up high enough i ended up having to use these spacers which i should have known because i had to put spacers on the outside ones so obviously you have to put spacers on the inside ones too but these are roughly the same height so uh, I had to cut the pipe. I was in the process of cutting the pipe and drilling the hole and a thunderstorm came up. Got really nasty looking and I uh, don't like being out here in this shop. This is aluminum, one of my aluminum buildings. Not real crazy about being out here and it's so hot having to close the door. <laughs> it was just, it would have been brutal. So I packed up, went in and cleaned up and got something to eat. So uh, back out here today. Now what I did, I've got the pins installed. Uh, put a little grease mark on it. So when I close the hood, I'll know where I need to drill that. So what I do, I'll drill, I'll poke my drill through the bottom of this paper cup or, or a styrofoam cup. And when, as I drill, that'll cut, the shavings will fall into the cup. Now I've already tested this out and you can see the little grease spot right there and right there. So when I close the hood down, it left a little grease mark. So that's where I'm gonna drill my holes at right there. I've got the engine covered up and uh, it's covered up, it's radiated a little bit. Any extra shavings that managed to uh, get in and uh, I'm gonna grab the drill and I'll probably put you guys on time lapse while I do that. And I hate using this prop rod, but for now this is what I'm gonna have to do. Eventually I would like to put some hydraulic, a uh, uh, little, little uh, shock absorber things on the hinges. But for now, this is what we're gonna do. So let me get these holes drilled. I'll just start off with a small hole and, and set the hood back down to make sure it, it does hit the pin and then we'll judge if we need to go left or right and that's because the hole here is not doesn't have a lot of room for error so you pretty much need to nail it all right let me uh, get you guys set up on time lapse
Okay, it, uh, they're lining up really nice. Uh, I do have a little bit of flexibility in the where, where I can position the pins, but they're, they're lining up really good. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make the final, uh, drill the final hole. It should size it correctly. And uh, hopefully they'll be poking up enough or popping up through the hood enough. <laughs> I don't know why I said poking. Popping up through the hood enough to, uh, to uh, get the pins in. So here goes. I'm gonna leave you on regular time this time. And I tore up my paper cup, so we're on our own here. Okay, I got the holes drilled as you saw. Let me clean up a little bit. I'm really worried about getting any more contaminants or trash in the carburetor. I have spent so much time working on these carburetors and I've got trash in it once. So I'm going to turn you off just for a second and uh, maybe a few minutes and uh, clean up and then we'll be right back and see how, the, how I did. Okay, let's see how good we, we got it. I think we got it pretty good. Let's find out. Okay, I don't know how that one, that one got way out of adjustment. I'm not sure how that happened. But as you can see, they are popping through, but they're not adjusted correctly. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to put a spacer underneath them. Uh, they're barely sticking through, but they fit. They came out really nice. They're in line with the other ones. So uh, at this point, I think I'll put my metal pieces on. So uh, pretty pleased with that, folks. turn you loose until I come up with some more stuff for you to look at okay folks the hood pins are installed they line up pretty good this one here is off just a little bit not much uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put uh, pilot drill some pilot holes here for these four screws to sit down in I made a little rubber gaskets right here and uh, that's the metal plate. There's the rubber gasket. And just made that out of an old, uh, like if you go and buy some meat or something from the store, it comes in a little plastic tray. It's made it out of the bottom of, that, of a black plastic tray, so no big deal there. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse while I drill these holes and set these screws in place. The hood is a little bit low, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we got to do. We may, we may live with that. Okay, as you can see, the screws are screwed down. Everything looks good. I'll just come back and, and uh, hit the uh, screw heads with some black uh, paint. And uh, like I said, the hood the hood did drop down a little bit. So I may need to do some more adjusting. That's, that's definitely lower than I want the hood to be. That's considerably too low. So let me get the pins in. Actually, let me, get, let me adjust those a little bit more. And uh, let me see what we can do, okay? But I think that's, uh, that's gonna work out pretty good. Okay, folks, so I got the hood line pretty good. Uh, still can see a little bit of a 
I think the pins should slide in no problem. If not, I'll uh, I'll figure it out. I'll make it work. But pretty pleased with how that turned out. So what I'm gonna do now, I put some styrofoam spacers under here just to give me an eye to get my hood up. That's not going to be permanent. That was just something to kind of give me a gauge on what how, how high I need to go. I'll source some rubber blocks. I'm currently out of thick rubber blocks. I had several, and over the years I've used them all. So uh, I'll go to the hardware store, buy two more, and uh, cut them down and drill a hole down the center. But in the meantime, I'm going to go get some black paint and touch these little screws up and finish getting this, this stuff off the hood, and she'll be good to go. Okay, folks, there you have it. They're all they're all installed, and uh, when I was uh, leaning on it to uh, paint the uh, screws, my body weight like, it sunk the uh, back down. So that what that is, the styrofoam is starting to compress. So I've got to get some hard rubber blocks. What I may do, those were, that was a one inch pipe that I had cut down to make that spacer, that little block spacer. I'll probably go to the store and buy a stick of a one and a half inch pipe and uh or maybe two inch pipe and that'll keep me from uh, having to have as big of a spacer and uh that, that'll, that's probably what i need to do and that'll that'll uh, keep the hood at the correct height so anyhow that looks pretty good um, i have decided for now not to put the lanyards on it i just think it looks silly with four lanyards <laughs> this one would probably go up under here these two would go up under here so they'd curve out around here I don't know. I just don't think it'd look right. What do you guys think? Would it look good with four? <laughs> Most muscle cars had two. And like I said, the only reason I did this is at the top end of the track when I was building some speed, it was bowing that hood pretty bad. That's because of that hood scoop. The hood scoop was working and it was sucking air in. So I haven't even sealed the scoop yet. So um, that bigger carburetor and all that, it's going to really suck some air now. So there you have it, folks. I am as hot. I'm going to take a break once I get some lunch and change out of these sweaty clothes something cold to drink uh there's two more things left to do and we can go back to the track i need to work on the uh, accelerator linkage the new carburetor and that accelerator linkage did not jive it's binding so i gotta work on that get that free and clear improve that and then i need to put my 410 gear in it i don't want to go back to the track with the sure grip in it because I've, I've burned one sure grip up already so i'll get the throttle linkage maybe fixed tomorrow or this afternoon and then one day this week i'll put that 410 gear in and then we should be with a little carburetor tune and we should be ready to go. All right, folks, this is it for this trip. Oh, by the way, hit the like button. Please hit the like button. That helps the videos get seen, helps with my sponsors, helps with the car. This is a very unusual car, as you know. It's a 77 Plymouth Fury with the original big block. And there's a bell. Hit that bell notification. What that does, that alerts you. If you're a subscriber, if you subscribe to my channel, which I'd love for you to do, you hit that bell notification. It alerts you when there's a new video posted. And I post videos about once a day videos of the car about once a week so uh, hit that bell notification you'll get notified of the videos hit that like button you're welcome to share these videos uh we're just a small rural race team out here just trying to do what we can definitely not a pro team so uh keep that in mind we're gonna make some mistakes but we're gonna have fun doing it though <laughs> and have fun have fun fixing the mistakes all right take care folks i'm out of here <music> Thank you.